Man, it's warm. My ears are hot. Hey guys, Jonathan here. Welcome back to a follow-up edition of What's in My Bag. So first up, let's check out the bag itself. This right here is the Timbuktu Parkside, which you may recall from the Best Back to School Tech. Picked this up for that and I ended up really liking it. Now from there, we're gonna go to jump over to this side of the table. This right here is a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro, which really has become my main editing machine. This is the quad core i7 model with dedicated graphics, which is powerful enough to edit the crispy 4K footage you are watching right now. Now below that is the giant ass iPad Pro. You can actually see how big it is compared to the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which is a beast by itself. Now this, like many of the items you'll see in my bag are products that I'm currently checking out that are in line for review. So next up is the OnePlus X, which is also in a video I'm currently working on. This is 250 bucks, it feels premium, and honestly, one of the best budget phone options of 2015. Now next to that is the 2015 Chromecast, AKA the Beats by Dre bright ass orange hockey puck lookalike, which is honestly one of the best things you can throw in your bag, especially for me, since I've been traveling a lot. Below that, we have a really interesting product and concept. This is from Nomad. So the deal here is it takes your existing Apple charger. So assuming you have an iPhone and an Apple charger, and what it's gonna do is basically convert it into an Apple charger on steroids. And what I mean by that is inside here, there's actually an 1800 milliamp hour battery. So while you're charging your phone, you're also charging this and you got some backup juice on the go. So this essentially will give you a full charge on an iPhone, but if you need more power, this monster right here is a 12,000 milliamp hour external battery from Jackery. Now this really isn't fancy. It's an external battery pack, which you've all seen before. You got your USB ports. It does have a really nice gold finish, which matches the Dream Desk. And of course, maybe most importantly, a flashlight. Following that, we have a couple USB cables. This right here is just a simple basic USB cable for the Chromecast or to charge the Jackery. And then we have a Native Union lightning cable, which is pretty neat because it's got this little tie right here. That way I can kind of throw it in my bag, keep it nice and clean, and it's not gonna get all tangled up all over the place. From there, we actually have a brand new pair of headphones from House of Marley, which they sent over for me to check out. These are their first on-ear Bluetooth headphones, the Rebel BTs. Now, immediately when I saw these, the first thing that came to mind is that they would be perfect with that Stormtrooper wrap from Slick Wraps. There you go, you got that gray, you got that black, and really the insides are really, really nice. Normally with on-ear headphones, you don't get a tremendous amount of low end, but I was actually really surprised with these. You have the adjustable cups right here and actually a couple really useful features. So you have the play pause and then this right here actually doubles as a volume up, volume down, and also next and previous for your songs. Now what's also really cool is these are made with recycled plastic. So if you're all about saving that environment, you probably wanna check these out. Now on top of that, they also sent out the Chant Sport right here. So it's gonna power this guy on. If you notice the design, that is actually made so it sits right into a cup holder. So maybe you got some crappy car speakers, maybe you went too hard, you blew those guys out. You can place this in your cup holder, get some good sounding audio, and then of course take it with you when you're done. What do you know about Marcus Miller? Listen to that bass line. You can come dance. It's funky. Richard Elliott. Listen to sax. This is bad. Get a little distracted right now. So this thing actually surprised the hell out of me. It's got a lot of volume. A lot of volume. Like all House of Marley stuff, it looks good. They use recycled plastic materials. So you're gonna be environmental friendly and you're gonna have some good, crisp sounding audio. Probably getting copyright strikes all day right now, but it's okay. We're doing a what's in my bag video from there. This is actually a really cool thing from Cocoon called the Grid It. And as you can see, I got the infamous $100 Apple Pencil. It's just a really cool way to hold all your miscellaneous tech. So this right here is a one terabyte Samsung T1 drive, which I use a ton with the MacBook Pro. This and this is the perfect mobile editing solution for me. But as you can see, this thing is tiny. So I would toss it in my bag, wouldn't be able to find it, but this actually is a really cool way to keep things nice and organized. And now I know exactly where it is. USB drive, we got the corresponding USB cable. And yeah, this has become one of the most useful pieces of tech in my bag. You got some zippers. Everybody loves zippers. And that is everything in my bag. Now, big thanks to House Marley. Ah, foot cramp. Oh. <laughs> it was 
Uh, don't don't eat and do tech videos within 15 minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Austin Evans on that like button. Now on top of that, House of Marley is also sponsoring a giveaway. So one of you guys out there can win not only these Rebel BT headphones, but also the Chant Sport Bluetooth speaker and all the details on how to win are linked down below. Can't take my sweater off. I'm hot. I don't have a sweater on. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Well, what do you mean I can't take off my sweater? I'm hot! <laughs> <laughs>